Good morning, Dawn Watchers. Pastor Sam with you. It's day three of our Dawn Watch, and the exhortation for today is about faith in Christ Jesus and His, His supremacy. Today's passage, honestly, sometimes is challenging for you and me. You know, we are all aware that Jesus is Lord and He must occupy the first place in our hearts. But in reality, we often ignore His preeminence in our daily decisions. Jesus is at times minimized as a spare tire. When you don't need Him, when life is okay, when everything runs smoothly, like a spare tire, He's just kept in the trunk or underneath the vehicle. We are more concerned on what Jesus can do for me rather than am I living in the light of His Lordship? We don't simply add Jesus to our lives. We adore Him with our life through obedience. The supremacy of Christ is a doctrine surrounding the authority of Jesus and His God nature. In the simplest of terms, to affirm the supremacy of Christ is to affirm that Jesus is God. Dictionary defines supreme as highest in rank or authority or highest in degree or quality. In essence, there is none better. The supreme of something is its ultimate. Jesus is the ultimate in power, glory, authority, and importance. And to better understand this passage, we need to know that the church in Colossae was infiltrated by false teachers who promoted errors in preaching about the person of Christ. They teach Jesus as prominent but not preeminent. They claim that Jesus is only one of the angelic emanations of God. They, in the process, deny the deity of Christ. <clears throat> this error in the presence of Christ opens the door to confusion about the gospel, the church, and the Christian life. Paul's affirmation of the deity of Christ should result in worship, increase in faith, and witness for Christ. Colossians 1 verse 15 to 23 is all about the real Jesus. Here, Paul gives us two reasons why we can live and minister and witness with unwavering confidence in the supremacy of Christ. First reason is because Jesus is supreme over all his creation. Jesus Christ is supreme over all his creation. In verse 15, Paul makes it plain that Jesus is over all things. Christ is called the image of the invisible God. God is, yes, invisible, but Christ is the visible image of the invisible God. He is God in the flesh. And the firstborn over all creation. The word firstborn may seem confusing, but it does not seem to imply that Christ was created, as in the doctrines of some false religions of this time. Instead, the term firstborn refers to a position of authority. To be firstborn was to hold an honored position. Paul immediately goes to explain Jesus' role in creation. For in him, all things were created, things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities. All things have been created through Him and for Him. That is in Colossians 1 verse 16. This means that Jesus is not a created being, but the Creator. He is God. Paul goes on to say, He is before all things, and in Him all things hold together. He is indeed in full control of everything on this earth and the whole universe. He is sovereignly supreme over all our circumstances, whether it be painful, 
or joyful. Romans 8.28 says, For God causes all things to work together for good to those who love God and to those who are the cold according to His purpose. The second reason is because Jesus Christ is supreme over all His new creation, the church. And He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning and the firstborn from among the dead, so that in everything He might have the supremacy. <clears throat> that is in Colossians 1, verse 17 to 18. Paul highlights multiple areas in which Christ has authority over creation, over the church, over death, and finally everything. Christ is both before all things and encompasses all things, and in Him all things hold together. Therefore, Christ is supreme. This doctrine is essential to our view of and worship of Christ. The supremacy of Christ affirms that Jesus is fully God. He is not simply a man greater than the rest or is truly above all creation. And this truth is essential for our salvation. The supremacy of Jesus teaches us that He is not simply a spiritual being above the rest. Paul tells us that through Him, all things, visible and invisible, in heaven and on earth, that is spiritual and physical, are created through Him. Colossians 1 verse 16 Jesus is supreme over both physical and spiritual realms. In a nutshell, there are at least seven characteristics of Christ's supremacy. He's the image of the invisible God, that is number one. Number two, He's the firstborn over all creation. Number three, He created all things. Number four, He is the head of the church. He's the beginning, the firstborn from the dead. Number six, He is the fullness of God dwelling in Him. Number seven, He is reconciling all things to Himself. When we understand the supremacy of Christ, we have a more accurate view of Him. We are more fully understand the depth of His love. We are more able to receive and to respond to His love. Perhaps you have heard the phrase, If Jesus is not Lord of all, He is not Lord at all. Likewise, if we don't regard Him as supreme of all, He is not supreme at all. But I want you to know this, this powerful truth in Philippians 2, verse 10 to 11 in Amplified Version. So that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow in submission of those who are in heaven and those who are on earth, that every tongue will confess and openly acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord the sovereign God, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord bless you all.